Hey guys, today we're gonna go through my paid premium box. And I'm gonna give you a quick spoiler. I'm not mad at my box at all. This is my paid premium box. I still have not received my PR premium box. So shipping, y'all already know, shipping is all over the place. But I did use these items to create this makeup look. I haven't done a green look in a minute. So I'm gonna quickly go through the items that I received, what variation, the weight of my box, dimensions of my box, total weights of value and all that stuff. And then I will move right along really quickly onto the makeup tutorial. Also in this video, I am announcing that I am hosting a 40K giveaway. What does that mean? I mean, I just hit 40K like, like two days ago, which is really exciting. And so I wanna give back. So I am hosting a giveaway. I'm launching it in this video. So make sure that you watch the entire video to get additional information as to what you need to do to sign up for the giveaway. Just saying, watch the entire video. My paid at premium box is variation number 52. The weight of the box is 1.7 pounds and the dimensions are 11 by 10 by four. The total retail value of my box was $168. Let me just show you what I got. So the first item I received, and yes, everything is pretty much opened and stuff because I kind of used it in the, no. what, what do you mean kind of? You actually did a full on tutorial with it. So I, I, I did a tutorial with the items. This here, I love, okay? This is the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. Love it, love it. Nothing else that I can say other than I have no highlighter on my skin and my skin is looking fly, okay? It is so hydrating on the skin. It feels beautiful. It makes your base just go on like butter. It's just so good. So this is 38. $8. The next item is the Ciate London New England Editor Palette, which retails for $32. I think the outside of the packaging is so cute. I, I, I do think that it's kind of cheap feeling, but whatever. And then at least you do get a full mirror, which is cool. And then these are the shades that you're getting inside. I bet you can pinpoint which ones I used for the look. I definitely want to use that blue. It looks way more vibrant on camera than it does in person. I don't know why. Let me swatch it because I haven't swatched it. But you see what I'm saying? Like it does not look like this in person. I'm gonna tell you that right now. It just, it just doesn't. And it swatches nice, but it just, it does not come off in person, which is why I didn't use it today. I should have done the blue, but whatever. So this palette is $32. The palette was nice. And then um, it, it was nice. I didn't have all, all, like a hard time getting pigmentation, getting color out of it, but it was one of those things. Like there was, there was some kick up. So just watch the video so you can see what I mean by that. The next item is this Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder in Translucent. This retails for $33. This is not the one that came in the box, of course. I don't have to open another one when I already have one that's open. I love this powder. It feels so beautiful under the eyes and wherever you place it, it just feels like satin. It's just amazing. Next item, this Milk Makeup Eyeliner. They sent it in the shape. Okay, it, <laughs> it just fell. I gotta grab it, hold on. They sent this in the shade Bonus. It is supposed to retail for $22. It is their long wear gel eyeliner. I love the formula. Not because I've tried it today, but I already own the black one. I actually picked this up at Sephora and loved it. Um, I didn't get the brown one because I didn't have it available when I had purchased the black one. So I only got the black one. I'm really happy I got the brown one because this stays on your waterline. It doesn't smudge around, at least for me, it doesn't smudge around. And I needed a nice gel brown to go on the waterline for today's look. And it just all worked out perfectly. So that's awesome. The next item is this Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Portable Contour and Concealer Brush. This is supposed to retail for $24. I actually like that BoxyCharm is including brands like Too Faced, Marc Jacobs is coming, Fenty Beauty, that's like a whole nother level. And we're only paying like, you know what I mean? But here's the deal. This brush is really cute, okay? This is perfect for travel. I'm just not gonna use it. I know it's Fenty and a lot of people would be like, I don't care, it's Fenty, I'm keeping it. But I'm not gonna go that route only because I know that there are people in my life that would actually really enjoy this product and use it on an ongoing basis. So I didn't use it in today's video and I'm gonna be forwarding it to someone else. I don't know if I said that already, but I'm saying it now. The last item is this MAC Cosmetics Satin Lipstick. It retails for $19. I have a ton of MAC lipsticks. I just didn't have this one, which is weird, but look how pretty it is. It looks a little darker in the tube, but once you apply it, this is what she looks like. The formula is very comfortable. And this the color is more yellow than red. I don't know if that makes sense, but I honestly thought it would be like a brown brown. 
but it wasn't and I'm actually happy about it because I could wear this color all the time not just seasonal you know those are all the items that I received in my paid premium box so let's move on in and create this look I want to show you step by step but I keep it short sweet and straight to the point all right all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this baby over here which I already know I love I'm only gonna use two pumps and I still feel like two pumps is way too much but I am so in love with this primer I thought it was gonna smell straight up like bananas but it doesn't it's very like a mild citrus but I'm not mad at it because I really 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 like this primer look at the luminosity on my skin Ugh. I just keep looking at the viewfinder because I've been tweaking the lighting here so okay so instead of doing my base first we're gonna just dive on in to this palette which is so pretty does green go with my hair I don't know we're gonna go green what else I'm gonna dive in to the green over here and I'm gonna use a shader brush I tend to use these because they're really good at packing color as you guys can see it like lifts a lot of color from the pan all at once and look at that like my lid is done and I only went into the pan the one time so if you're ever struggling with getting eyeshadow I mean if the formula is a good quality of course and you're struggling then change up your brushes you'd be surprised what changing your brushes can do for you it just makes things a lot easier most of the time i'm gonna use an alter ego brush and i'm gonna dip into this shade over here um sad part is these don't have names i just checked on the little thing thing they don't have names oh look at that like do you guys see how much like kick up there is okay so it's not just the teddy palette that has kick up this one does too all right so we're gonna go ahead and blend that kind of coffee shade all over the crease and blend that out well i'm glad we went green i like this green okay that's cute we warmed up the crease a little bit i'm gonna use this brush over here i know it looks really different it is a long blending brush that's what i would call it it's called the soft blend 10 it is by sigma and I'm going to dive in to this deep purpley brown shade. Tap that shade out. Start to blend that on the outer ends. I'm going to bring her forward a little bit, which is why I wanted to use this brush because it's pretty slim for that crease area. And I can see that I'm losing a little bit of the vibrancy of the green, not a problem, because we're gonna go in and tap a little bit of that with our finger right back on top of that to add to the vibrancy, so we're good. I just wanna kind of, you know, darken this up, smoke it up a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of that brown and I'm gonna wrap the outer portion up a little bit. Just a little tie in very well together because I'm gonna put some of that green on the inner portion of the eyes, like the first half. So we're good, we're good here. This is looking, this is looking really good. I'm gonna take my finger, dip into that shade, the green, and bring it back to life really quickly. That's pretty. And then I'm gonna grab the very same brush I used for the green. I'm gonna dip the tip into it. <laughs> dip the tip. <laughs> and I will drag some of that green onto the first half of the eye. I'm going to grab the Milk Makeup Pencil and since it is brown, and it's kind of like, it works really well with green. We're gonna go ahead and lightly line our rim. I really like this formula. I have the black one, I paid for it myself, and I just fell in love with it. So it's one of those things that I'm really happy this was included in my box. I moved ahead, applied some latches, and this is basically what the eye is looking like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit of mascara on the bottom portion, and I think this eye is good to go. Let's see. I mean, I think it looks really good, but I also think that everything else has to kind of pretty much be done in order for a look to come together. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on everything else. I'll come back uh, to kind of show you guys how the setting powder works because I've already tried it and I love it. So I'll be back. Okie dokie, artichoke. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. This is not the new one. Of course, I already have one, so I'm gonna set that one to the side, maybe. Maybe you'll see it in the next few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little brush. This one is a Soft Blend 60 by Sigma. And I just want to set the under eyes very lightly. I don't wanna overdo it, we're not baking. We just wanna set that concealer that I applied down there. And I'm gonna bring it down here just a little bit. You know, I am gonna say, I don't know how many people received this powder in 
one of their boxes but um whoever did you're very lucky because this powder is really nice i have been enjoying this powder so much it's ridiculous like it's the only powder that i've been using i did finish off the becca one that i had before but now like i'm really enjoying this powder so i haven't even touched any other of the other ones that i already have which are open which is just annoying at this point but this is so good and then to finish off the look the last thing i have to try that i'm going to try is this MAC lipstick in Mocha, which I do not, or what I didn't own before getting this box. So, of course, this is going to be exciting. I'm not even going to use a lip liner. I'm going to see how this... Actually, this works really well with the eyes. I thought it was going to be a lot deeper. And I was like, man, I didn't want to go vampy or like too fall-ish. But this is a really pretty shade, actually. This shade is very similar to the Trustique uh florence fig that i wore in yesterday's video so that's kind of cool very similar although the trustee i think it's a little more on the red side those are all the items featured in this variation honestly this was a really good box and this is my paid box so let's wait and see what i get in my pr box with that said it is time for me to announce my 40k giveaway which i'm so excited about <laughs> Okay, first of all, I just want to say thank you because I feel like I am a little awkward and a little weird and I didn't think I'd ever get to 40, so we'll see. Now I see people saying, congrats on 40, let's get you to 100, which is cray. Um, if that day happens, I probably will cry on camera, like ugly cry at that. Um, but I want to show you guys the prize bundle. I put everything in this little basket well not everything there's one additional product but i put it in this little basket that way i can just like take the things out and show them to you super quickly i think this is a really nice bundle the first thing you're going to receive if you win is the violet voss best life palette which not a lot of people got their hands on you're also going to get some evio skin and aurora refreshing cleansing wipes you're going to get a teamy lavender infused sponge you're going to get a Wander Beauty mascara as well as a Pixi lip gloss. You're going to get, which everyone was raving over this, the Dr. Brandt 24-7 Retinol Eye Cream. Oh, this is heavy. You're going to get an eyeliner by Esquito in black, which, guys, this formula, everything. You're going to get a pair of lashes, a 111 Skin Pollution Defense Booster, a fresh sugar advanced therapy lip balm these are amazing i have a vanilla one and a strawberry black under eye masks the Too Faced cocoa contour palette which i had so many and i was giving them away but i saved this so that i can add it to a giveaway and honestly it tastes like chocolate so when you get it just scratch a little bit off and taste it clean hands of course they taste like chocolate and yes i did that i actually did it on camera you're going to get a Murad cleanser. This is the Essential C cleanser. You're going to get this here, which I'm gonna open up because it's one of those things that it's like, what is inside? So this is a brow bar by Rima, little brush case, but it comes with all these brushes and they're so cute. I'll show you kind of like what the design is. Isn't that a cute brush? So you're going to get that. Okay, hold up. And it's only going to be one winner. I usually have like several bundles and I'll separate this into like two winners. But instead of separating the one bundle into two, I'm going to do a one. That way whoever wins gets a ton of stuff. And then the last item that was not in the basket is this over here. It is a mirror. The base is in here, of course. And it is a lighted mirror. So um, it just requires some batteries. But isn't that awesome? You get a mirror. So that's cool. I haven't calculated what the retail value of everything is. I will do that in a second and add that here on screen. Rules for the giveaway are as follows. It's going to be open for two weeks. It is open to the US and Canada. Must be subscribed to my channel and hit the like button. Go to the description box of this video, click on the link that's there and complete the form. That is your entry form. If you do not complete the form, you have not submitted your entry for this giveaway. Once you are done submitting your form, let me know one thing that you did this summer that was really fun. 
because I know 2020 has been a rough year so far, but I'm sure there was something, one thing this summer that you were like, that was awesome. So let us know down below what it was, even if it was like you took a selfie for the first time. It doesn't have to be anything crazy or extravagant. It could be something basic, like I made a cake for the first time, you know, because we were in quarantine. So it doesn't matter, something that you did that was awesome this summer, because summer is coming to a close. My awesome thing that I did this summer was move to Florida, which is cray. And that is a wrap up for this video. I wish you all luck. Again, make sure you get your entries in because it's only gonna be open for two weeks. Thank you so much for 40K. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the videos that are popping here on screen. I know you're gonna absolutely love those. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.